So assuming you have forms that already pass security validation, but you get bots that like will add in a bunch of dummy data, um, you know, even though that you hit submit, this thing doesn't actually submit until you've verified with the recaptcha. And so um, that's the end result of what we're going to be adding here. And so the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to navigate to uh, Google's CAPTCHA admin site. Google owns recaptcha. And so here you're going to see what I have. Um, there's recaptcha v3 and v2. Um, the one that we're going with right now is v2, and v2 is still supported by Google. Um, and so that's the one that I have for this. And so basically, um, if you're brand new to this, there is a create page, which I will provide a link to. And so in the settings for this thing, you're gonna label it, you can type in whatever you want, just give it the site name usually, and I add V2 just to make it very clear that this is the um, captcha, recaptcha V2. And then you're gonna put in the domains for this, so it's literally just typing in the domains for the websites that you're gonna be uh, using this with. And if you're gonna be developing this locally, you're gonna make sure that you have local host added in here, and then just to be super extra secure, I add uh, 127.0.0.1, and this is the IP address of your local machine if you're doing any local development on this. So that is the uh, key thing to take away from this for the setup on Google side. Once you do this also, you are going to be given a page where Google will tell you what your public and private keys are. And so um, you're gonna to wanna to write these down and save them in a place where other people aren't gonna be able to see it because otherwise they'll be able to uh, bypass this whole thing, which is all purpose of us adding um, this recaptcha to our site. Um, and so make sure to write those down in a safe place, save it in a document somewhere. And then um, in the website uh, that I have, so if we look at the code, hang on one second, we have the config thing here. And so basically you're gonna call the public key or the site key, uh, these are gonna be called the same things, but just make sure you have a config variable within your Flask application called recaptcha public key. And then that secret key is also called the recaptcha private key and make sure that you've got a config variable called that. And I'm using environment variables just to make sure that we have an extra layer of security here so that people don't see the raw password because that would be pretty bad. So, um, so that's how I'm saving all these things. And also I'm deploying the site in Heroku. So you want to make sure that if you update any environment variables, you're doing so both on the local machines environment variable list, as well as in Heroku. Um, and then the next thing that we're going to be doing is within the forms uh, or wherever you're defining your form objects or classes, um, you're going to want to make sure that you are importing the recaptcha field. Uh, and this comes from Flask WTF, so it's a built-in package. You don't have to worry about installing any additional dependencies if you're already running a Flask app. And within the actual form uh, that you're going to be adding your recaptcha to, it's so literally just creating this recaptcha uh, field object within this form. And so once you've done that, uh, you will then, and this is pretty basic stuff, apologize if it's, um, but basically you're gonna go into your template um, for the page that you want to add it in, and then you're literally just going to create, using the Jinja2 uh, syntax, the actual recaptcha object. And so once you've done all this, um, that is all you have to do in order to get your site up and running with recaptcha. I'll provide more um, details in the description for the sites you can go to. But the other thing I'll note is that if you do forget to like put in local host as one of the sites when you're creating your thing in uh, Google's recaptcha, um, it can take up to 30 minutes. Now Lori says it right here. Um, so if it keeps throwing you error messages and saying it can't handle it, um, just give it some time, uh, get a coffee or something, come back. Um, and then the other thing is with this, just make sure that uh, you are uh, using the correct version of recaptcha because I think Google's kind of pushing people onto V3 right now. And with V3, it is different uh, to implement. And so V2 is the one that I've just described. If you're doing V3, you're gonna get error messages saying that you can't, you know, you're getting some kind of error. Um, and you can look up the specifics, but basically, this is only applies to V2. V2 is still supported by Google. And I uh, hope this video is helpful. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, I'll talk to you next time.